My name is Peter Franson. I'm the Chief Technology Officer in Patricia Applications, Patricia Infrastructure and Patricia Blockchain Foundation. The mission for me and my team is to build secure multi-party computation. This means that we are going to take multi-party computation and make it something that is active in the real world, building real applications, building platforms where people can build their own MPC, which is the secure multi-party computation, or as we coin it, zero-knowledge computations. I started Patricia for more than five years ago, and for me it was an opportunity that could not be refused. I needed to do that opportunity because what Patricia is, is the best scientist, it's the best opportunities, and some of the projects that we are seeing right now are some of the most interesting projects that has the capacity and potential to actually alter parts of the technology uh, or the digital world as we know it. One of the things that I've been focusing on together with my team is to combine MPC and blockchain to make sure that MPC is not seen as something that is a simple computation and similarly that a blockchain is not something that is solely about doing public transactions. So what we are trying to do in Patricia and what we have been building, the team and I, is a platform where people can actually build their own data structures, build their own smart contracts, but doing it where they actually combine something that is seemingly very different. So you have blockchain, which is a public database where all data is visible and transparent for everyone to see and every alterations is also public interaction. So everything is public. Whereas MPC is about privacy. So you don't have any public information in that. But you don't want to have complete privacy because if you do complete privacy, then if you're running and uh, the, the most classical example is to run an auction. If you're running an auction, you want to know when the auction starts, who has bid it and who won. You actually want that part of the auction is public and you also want the part of the blockchain data is private. So combining these two seemingly in, uh, incongruent technologies, which is MPC and blockchain, is what we've been building. And this, this is uh, what I also think that we've solved. And that's uh, the platform that we are building as the Patricia blockchain. The core foundation of the Patricia blockchain is to make sure that the uh, MPC and blockchain are well intertwined and that the technology runs well. This resulted in a number of discussions and a number of alterations of the classical Nakamoto style blockchain. So we have a somewhat different blockchain than other blockchains have. Our blockchain is slightly different in terms of the consensus model, in terms of finalization and in terms of even executing blocks. We've chosen slightly different approaches to a number of core choices that has been made in the blockchain world. And those choices, that is what I internally refer to as the Patricia style consensus model, the Patricia style execution model. And I would bet you that that terminology might even arise in the public blockchain because what we've been doing is the sm small tweaks and minor innovations and some revolutionary uh, path that has been taken where we have actually taken a classical public blockchain and made it efficient as well as implemented MPC on top of it. In Patricia blockchain, we've combined a number of different uh, areas of expertise. So we've had very skilled developers, we've had very skilled uh, cryptographics, we have very skilled uh, language experts, we have very skilled economists. So we have very skilled a number of different people. It means that a number of the decisions has been made in collaboration across very different areas of expertise. So we have had economists design very different incentive schemes compared to other blockchain. So our incentive schemes is much more uh, much more proven and has game theoretical proofs hidden beneath some of the incentive schemes. Other blockchains will not have that. And that means that at some point the, there will be an end of life for other blockchains. Our blockchain does not have an end of life. The Patricia blockchain was developed as part exper experiment and part uh, supporting some of the MPC efforts. So when we had a client in 2018 that needed to do an MPC protocol, we built the MPC protocol and an execution platform and we shipped that in 2019. That's actually the foundation of the blockchain that uh, Patricia blockchain as you see it today. So what you see today is the uh, retrofitted private deployment of the blockchain that we have been running uh, with a client since 2019 and that uh, uh, situation was an auction. So they wanted high stake players to give their uh, bids to an auction where the bids were kept confidential. And those uh, bids were then kept confidential within an auction mechanism built on our platform, built on using the uh, blockchain and built on using zero knowledge computations. The high stake players were actually get yeah. to keep their preferences 
hidden until the point where the orders and the matches were resolved and the auctions were executed. And that means a lot in the financial world. This is something that you see in the DeFi world. We have different types of exchanges, but you want to keep your preferences concealed. You want to keep them concealed until the point of execution, because otherwise you will just have a DeFi solution where everybody can see everyone's closing orders, but there's no real room for finding the market price because nobody is trying to bid for the market price because too many informations are public in the space at this point. What we are delivering is that we can actually build auction mechanisms similar to the one that our client has been running since 2019, where the data and the bids are kept confidential until the point of execution. Blockchain as we know it today is uh, written with the problem that everything has to be public. So every bit and piece of information needs to be public. It has been uh, tried to remedy this by using zero knowledge proofs. So knowledge proof is a great way to start, but it does not solve the problem. You want to have some state private, but you still want a computer on it. So you want to keep your search preferences uh, private and you want to keep your uh, shopping history private, but still you want to engage in the internet, you want to purchase stuff, and you want to do that without that being revealed. This is what Patricia Blockchain can give you. Patricia Blockchain can give you the private set of data while still being interacted in it within a public context. So instead of, as previously, either you had everything public or everything private, now we get to combine those two worlds and in jointly we now have a platform that is more likely to be uh, seen as a viable computational platform in the future. Within the next five years, I think we will be seeing a number of applications that will be changing the way that we talk about blockchain, changing the way that we talk about uh, decentralized finance, cha changing the way that the third world, or what we used to call the third world, will actually be able to participate in the future of the internet. This is some of the things that I see that the Patricia blockchain will bring to the uh, world and to the society as a whole. The secret sauce for Patricia is the team comprising so many different and so varied types of competences, of, of capabilities, of skills and of insights. That's, that's the input. So we are putting very skilled people as input to the Patricia blockchain. But some of the things, some of the, some of the choices that have been made in the Patricia blockchain has actually proven to be very resilient to changes and will improve the execution speed and the uh, transaction capability of, of the platform as a whole. The Patricia community, I mostly navigate through, uh, with the node operators and for me it has been an immense honor to work with people that are uh, of such a high caliber. They are very, very good and not only that, they are also very engaged in the community and building the community. I don't have enough time to take proper care of that community and the fact that the community is self-sufficient in many ways and are supporting our uh, efforts to deploy the blockchain in the real world is actually something that I find very, very uh, humbling and uh, that I would like to give a very special thanks to.